So we're going on a road trip to San Francisco today. Um, we drove up from LA to Morro Bay last night and now we're headed up to Big Sur. And then from there we're gonna go to Santa Cruz and then end up in San Francisco tonight. So it's gonna take us a few hours, but we're driving up the coast. It's the first time I've been on the west coast, um, being able to see all of that, so let's go. walking up Lombard Street, which is literally like a 90 degree angle of a street. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> so we now came to the Painted Ladies, which are just like really cute pastel colored houses. There isn't a pink one though, so I'm kind of upset about it. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, I found the pink house. And I'm much more excited about this one. This is where I'm gonna live one day. I found a really pretty house. Again, this one's lavender. And <laughs> it looks really good. I think I might change my mind and wanna live here instead. Look at this, right beside another pink house. I think I could live here, and then Maya can live right there in the pink house. I just realized that this is a bed and breakfast, so that purple house might not even be a house. And I should probably look into staying there. Cause this looks like the castle that maybe Belle stayed in. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. This stained glass is very reminiscent of Beauty and the Beast to me also. So we've left San Francisco and we're on our way to um, San Luis Obispo now because we're going to the Madonna Inn for the day. Um, we are about three hours out from there, so uh, we're stopping to get some food because we haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I've decided that we're going to go to In-N-Out because this is my second time out west and I haven't been to In-N-Out yet and I feel like I'll probably throw up after eating it, but I have to just do it and try it. So we just got our food. I got a hamburger. And I tasted the fries. They were pretty garbage. It tastes like over fried potato chips. What'd you get? A double double. Do you like it? No. <laughs> uh. Upon first inspection, the packaging is disgusting. It's greasy and it's sticking to the burger.
the bun tastes a little stale. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like one of those burgers when you go to like Costco and they're doing a barbecue outside and then you go and buy a burger from them. That's what it tastes like. Like some random dad whose kids are on a soccer team was doing barbecue outside of Costco. Um, it's okay. It's not great. Mm -hmm. And the fries are bullshit. They look like albino fries and they taste like garbage. Like, that doesn't even look fully cooked. I'm not impressed. In and out, all the way down, thumbs all the way down. <laughs> I'm not about it. And I didn't realize until after we ordered that you could have gotten a burger in a lettuce wrap instead of with this stale ass bun. So, but I don't think that would improve the quality of the beef whatsoever. I forgot to add that we also got a chocolate shake and this also tastes like shit. It tastes like dollar store chocolate ice cream that was melted and then they mixed it up into a cup. So I just checked in um, at the Madonna Inn. This is the cutest little check-in package I've ever seen, of course, because it's pink, that's why I think so. And he gave me cookies as I checked in. That's the greatest hotel check-in I've ever had. So we're gonna go find our room and check out the grounds. So we're in room 180, so I'm gonna go up the stairs now, try and find out where it is we're staying. 80. We are in the Traveler's Yacht Room. We are in the hotel now. So cute. We're gonna go explore. I love the staircases. And this view though. take some photos now while we're here on the grounds. These are some sunglasses that I DIY'd myself and I felt like they were very Madonna in. So we're gonna go find some places to shoot with my director of photography. This is nice. AJ is a good location scout because he found this beautiful pink wallpaper, and he found the multicolored glass windows over there. This hotel is really colorful, I like it. I like its kitschy vibes. So, we're gonna go find a second location now. Um, probably the pink tennis courts. I've been really excited about seeing that, so we're gonna walk across the uh, grounds and see if we can find it. We just discovered that there are horses and cows here. They don't care, they're just grazing. We have found the tennis court, so we're walking around try and get in there. Doesn't look like anyone's in there right now, so we might have the whole thing to ourselves. Hopefully, because I'm gonna try and not look like a dead corpse lying on a tennis court. Oh my God. It's so beautiful. I am so excited about this tennis court. So we just finished taking some pictures here. This is probably my favorite place in the whole resort. I love this tennis court. And the view. Just the mountains in the back. I can't. I love California so much. 
we're also going to find mountains and a tennis court and then you go up the coast and you can go skiing you can go down the coast and it's desert i'm obsessed with california so we're all done shooting for right now we're gonna go get some food because we haven't eaten since we left san francisco this morning starving and i think we're gonna just go out into the town and see if we can find some food i think it's probably gonna be a little pricey to eat in the restaurant here so we'll go find something see what san luis obispo has to offer before we check out we're heading over to the pool because obviously i need to get some photos over there and it's pretty awesome oh yeah this will do As you can see, everything is still decked out in the pink and the different colors and there's a waterfall. This is the spa where you can go and get services done there. Thank you for being my photographer. Did you like the hotel? Oh. What was your favorite part? The tennis court? Yeah. We're checking out of the Madonna Inn today, but I had to come back to uh, the tennis court because I absolutely adore it and I needed to wear my next outfit for our photos. So I wanted to just get a few more um, on the courts before we go. Um, we're gonna go and get some food in town and then head back down to LA today. But um, this was a really nice resort. I really like staying here and if you have the chance, if you're ever in San Luis Obispo, you should totally check out this hotel. I don't even know if I'm saying the town right. San Luis Obispo, I think is how you say it. But definitely check out the Madonna Inn. It's super kitschy and cute and tons of photo ops. So check it out if you're ever in Cali. I don't like any topping. But this is legit the best clam chowder I've ever had in my life. That's why we came back again. We were already here last night. 